Ava Aguilera joining us now. Have you ever mm, smelled one of those? I have not. Yep. I recommend doing it once just to say you've been there, done that. It's not worth it's, two it's, times. So, well, I'm just it's stinky. It's, it it's, it's oh, appropriately man. named. Well, it's worth it. I'll have to get <laughs> yeah. out there when it blooms. Yeah. And check it out. Hey, our weather has been right. kind of hazy, not so stinky, but a little hazy. We're going to start you in the mountains. Take a look at this. Not too bad up there. We had that little system with the showers and thunderstorms come through last night. Cleaned the air out just a little bit. There's a look at our city, and you can see we still have some haze here going on. Here's a, a view from Lookout Mountain, and this really shows it when you look uh, out at a distance. You normally should see the downtown area you can't with that one and this is from the tech center so we still have some of that haze we still have ozone together and pollution together so air quality not so uh, good it's unhealthy for sensitive groups still and we still have an ozone action day going on temperature wise uh, we're at 80 degrees at dia same thing up there in fort collins 70s and 60s in the mountains and 70s and 80s out west i wanted to show you this this is from last weekend when we had the perseid meteor shower but it's such a cool shot here from zach pickett and Christian. It just shows you that if you get away from the city lights, I know a lot of you tried to see them in the city this weekend and didn't have much luck, but if you get away from those city lights, man, oh man, do you get a real show. So just keep that in mind for next year, huh? Here's what happened yesterday. A little front slid through, really got those thunderstorms going. Behind it, we have slightly drier, not so much cooler air, but drier air coming in over the northern part of Colorado here. So. We've got a big batch of moisture coming across the four corners. In fact, there's already rain down there, and some of that will be sending some cloud cover into the Denver metro. But I think the best chance for rain and thunderstorms is going to be over southern Colorado. You can already see from Cortez into Telluride some good soaking rains there. So the severe weather outlook for today has southeastern Colorado uh, outlook for the best chance of hail producing thunderstorms. Also, later in the day, might get some up here uh, from Ogallala into North Platte, so we'll watch for that. Everybody else has a chance of thunderstorms. It just does not look like they'll be severe. So here's the best chance with the FutureCast computer model over southern Colorado here. So Colorado Springs, Pueblo, all the way down to Lamar. You could get some big ones going. And then late in the day, a little finger shoots up into the Denver, the front range. We could have some late thunderstorms around here producing some rain, maybe some gusty winds. And there is a chance with some small hail, but not as big as what we had yesterday. Temperature-wise, a lot of 70s and 80s to the north, 90s southeast and out to the west. So another hot day out there. Our temperature today should go to about 80. 89, that's about where we should be this time of year. 10% chance of thunderstorms this afternoon, so not huge. Almost same thing tomorrow with 87. And then as we head into the weekend, hot on Friday at 90 degrees. And for Bronco, Saturday, it's a night game, but we have a really good chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms coming your way on Saturday. Could be kind of soggy during the game especially, and then we dry out a little bit on Sunday. All right, something to keep in mind if you're going to the game. There you go. Take All your right. rain gear. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Dave. You got it. Well, we need